I would like to welcome you all back to Water Your Soil. So today I'm going to talk about the importance of business credit, how personal credit leads into business credit. Because, you know, there are people out here these days, everyone talks LLC, LLC, LLC. Well, if you if you're going to have an LLC and if you're going to be a business owner or an entrepreneur, you might as well get started with building up your business credit. Now, my cover, my channel doesn't really cover a uh, business credit. However, I know one thing, personal credit normally leads into business credit. So if your personal credit is pretty good, it makes it easier to get approved for business credit, especially if your business is legitimate. Check this out. It's some cool things when it comes to business credit. First of all, I'll just say some of the perks of having like business credit as far as business credit cards go. So one of the things is, let's say you're just starting out, like it's your first year in business and you know, you only have estimates for what you'll make for the year. You don't really know per se what you'll make for the year with your business, but you only have estimates. You can only estimate. You can only estimate. Let's say you estimate $5,000. You predict your company will make $5,000 in the first year of doing business, right? So you go and you apply with whatever business uh, credit card you apply for. Let's, for example, let's use American Express. You know, I like to use American Express because I have a good relationship with them. Now, let's use them, for example. When you go and you apply for your business credit, it will help you a great deal if you already have established a good personal relationship with that financial institution. So if it's Chase, maybe if you have uh, some Chase personal credit cards, you know, it, it'll work in your favor. Same thing with Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Capital One. Um, I think Discover just got a business card recently, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe Discover just got a, a business card, a card for businesses recently, as well as American Express. American Express has have always had uh, business cards. You know, that was one of their things. But let's say you have a good personal relationship with American Express. You have a couple of credit cards with American Express and you had you have had those cards for a number of years so your relationship with them is pretty well established you have your EIN number which is basically your business social security number you have your uh, employee identification number I mean employer identification number so you have that so that's pretty much all you need other than the name of your company because you're when you apply for your business loan I mean, not your business loan, your business credit card, you're going to use your personal information the first time around. So, yeah, you're going to use your Social Security number. You're going to use your income and they're going to ask you, they're going to ask you, how much do you, does your business make? It's basically if it's your first year, you're going to predict how much you expect to make. Don't lie. Just give a fair prediction, you know. If you worst come to worst, if you don't think you're going to make any money that first year, just put a thousand dollars, you know, just put a thousand dollars for what you expect to make that first year. And like I said, if you have that good relationship with the financial institution already established, your chances of getting approved for that business credit card is much greater than it is if you don't have any financial uh, any uh, establishment or no rapport with the financial institution now let's get into you know why personal uh, credit and personal your personal credit score and your personal credit report and you know your relationships your personal relationships with financial institutions let's get into why they're so important you know if you do plan on having a business one day these personal relationships that you have with financial institutions, they pretty much set the tone. So this is why I always tell my clients and people that I help with their credit score that you always want to keep the future in mind when it comes to credit. So 
you may not necessarily want to start a business right now in the present right you you maybe you're someone who just works a job and that's all you're interested in right now because maybe you have kids or you have other things that you're doing and you don't really have time to run a business or maybe even a business is not what you desire to do you don't have any interest in entrepreneurship let's say that's the case you still want to keep the future in mind because maybe one day it will pop up in your mind and you'll want to be an, an investor and invest in some real estate or open up your cookie shop or you know any type of business or entrepreneurship and it will help you a great deal to have your personal credit in order and your credit report looking smooth that way when you are new to the business world you'll have a greater chance of getting approved for business credit you want to start off with a business credit card and you want to start off with one of the credit cards that you have a good chance of getting approved for you want to start off small just like personal credit you know the smaller you start off the better but like i said they tie into each other personal credit and business credit it's important to establish your personal credit and make sure you have that good relationship with the final financial institution a lot of people like to put the uh, shoe on before the sock and they like to skip steps and they like to expedite things because instant gratification is so big these days you know delayed gratification is not the thing instant gratification is everybody want things so quick and fast and quick and fast that they forget that it's important steps that need to be taken in order to get the best results out of things so having your personal credit established is one of those steps that needs to be taken i'm telling you i speak from experience when your personal uh credit is good and you have a good relationship established with financial institutions it makes it that much easier to get business credit why because they know you they might not they may not know your business but they know you the individual who's running the business and see they tie in hand to hand so if you're not a big business or you're gonna have a big corporation that's reeling in millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars on a year you want to have that relationship established to help you you know let's say you do need a business credit card that personal relationship will be something that they look at when determining whether or not they want to give you a business credit card along with you know how long you've been in business as well as your income as far as your personal income and business and your credit score and credit report those things matter especially your credit score now one of the major perks because I, I mentioned this in the beginning of the video and I told you I would get back to it one of the major perks of having a business credit card is it helps you during tax time for your business you know the way how the, the financial institutions and the credit card companies the way how they organize your spending on your business credit card is pretty neat they pretty much lay it out and highlight every every area you spent whether it's gas or electronics uh, restaurants things of that nature it's highlighted i know this for a fact with american express i'm not too sure how other uh companies uh work like you know personal banks and and uh those things like uh, credit unions and things of that nature but I know with a lot of the major credit card companies they highlight those things and it makes it that much easier for your accountant and it makes it that much easier for you and you know with spending on a business card on a business credit card this in returns helps you during tax season and when you're doing your taxes so there are perks there are great perks that come along with having a business credit card you just have to make sure that you have your ducks in a row and you want to make sure your personal credit is on par i always tell people get your personal credit together it is so important it leads to so many great things getting your personal credit together i have a course i have a book these things are in every video that i have even in my about me section on this page I have a course and a book if you don't want to pay for the course because you believe it's too expensive I have a book to help you get your personal credit together it's not rocket rocket science how some people make it seem you don't need to do credit repair you could do this on your own 
my book or my course will help you i'm not here to sell my products but i'm just letting you know because you know sometimes i get messages and emails and people ask me if i have a product or a book but it's right there you know in front of their face if they read the description no disrespect but that's what it is so make sure you establish your personal credit um don't try to hop over steps meaning don't try to skip to just getting business credit if your uh credit personal credit score is bad i know there are videos out here on youtube and they explain it, oh you could get business credit after bankruptcy and things of this nature do things the right way put the sock on before the shoe if you put the sock on before the shoe you'll end up with better results you can always take the risk of putting on the shoe before the sock but it may not work out in your favor so keep these things in mind um be sure to like and subscribe i'll be continuing to post more information and more videos like this in the future i also have uh previous videos on my page that are similar be sure you stop by be sure you check them out i like thank you all for watching